Guys, recently, the Rift took out the Bomber pretty darn spectacularly, and we just wiped it out. But can it take out the Kepper Bouncer? We're going to have to find out. I'm going to show you guys both of these on the table and get them right outside and see if the Rift can do it again. Take a look. If there's one thing for sure, both of these vehicles can climb. So, they both use a GT5. Again, the raw 500 in the front, you know, just that's just kind of the way it is. Both of these have a alloy axles, the Vitavon Entergy. A uh, pretty big difference there. Uh, this one has a Vitavon transmission case. This one actually has the Trio transmission case. They both have Mamba X's, Rock 412 3100 KV, 2100 KV Holmes motor. Uh, these things are really similar, but I do got to tell you and show you guys, they are different in a lot of ways. And you're about to see one of the biggest ones right here. Much different profiles. Very different profiles. So, um, and this one runs a 3S with that KV motor. 3S is where it's at. 2100 KV, 4S. I need to come up with a lighter battery, lighter 4S for that. So, these guys, they're ready to go. And we got to go figure out what can separate them. The Rift versus the Bomber, we're going to hit this just because it's really such a fun line to get. So, certainly got to remember how to drive this one. It's been a while since I've driven this one. Oh! Basically, I've got to re-familiarize myself with this one. Now with this one, we're going to drive down the hill. Because you know you got to come down stuff, right? piece of cake now obviously I just recently went up this with this one so I should be a little more um, you know, familiar with it right <laughs> oh maybe not Bring this one on down here. Not, not as graceful. <laughs> not as graceful at all, but eh, it's there. We've got a fresh hill here that I've never messed with before. Let's see what we can do. Oh yeah, there's a hole over there. Oh yeah, got it. Let's get a little jump in on this. Easy peasy, riff time. Yeah. <laughs> And my favorite hill. All right. Nice little U turn. <laughs> I know it can get up this.
Better stop picking on the roof. There we go. Got it. Oh, uh, jeez. Um, the rift is insanely sensitive on power. Holy moly. And I blip it the same. It's on this tire. I blip it the same as I did with the other one, but they're just such different vehicles. They really are. I almost took out my radio. Yeah, um, yeah, this, the rift just owns this hill. Owns it. This is where the rift ended up. Easy. Easy. Try some jumping action. <laughs> This one is so mild, and the rift is just so wild. I mean, it really is. Now, let's hit that rift. <laughs> I mean, just the throttle curve is just so crazy. Oh, I'm not gonna drive out of that. Okay, here we go. I mean, uh, maybe it's the 4S in the Rift. Maybe it's that Holmes motor, but wow. <laughs> and just like when I put the Rift against the bomber, we're going to end this on the nasty. Neither of these two vehicles are uh, <laughs> friendly to this obstacle. Yeah, they're just not the most, uh, they're both raunchy vehicles, let me tell you. But this obstacle just puts a hurting on them. So, they're both just too big for it and the rift being bigger, Idea if I'm gonna be able to get this across here. So far, so good. It's uh, doing really good. Oh boy. Ah. Yeah, it, it was going over. Whoa. Uh, no good. And the rift is up next. Now, I made it to the crack of doom with the rift last time. But I had it against the bomber. But... Can I get that again? Because, uh... It is just... Not a good crawler. The gear is just so far so far out for anything crawler related. And I really gotta be careful because one blip of the throttle this thing just simply goes right off. Got up to there. Now we got the crack of doom to deal with. Rear axle on that rock point actually helped me get into the crack of doom better this time. So now I had with the Capra bouncer 
I had the back tires on it now, so as in like on the other side of it. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. She finished correctly but it did somehow come out of it so uh wow i'm impressed i must have got a little bit better with the rift i'm going to attempt to push both throttles at the same time with one hand all right let's see here <laughs> one hit the Pole, the uh, culvert, and the other one over. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All righty. Well. Well guys, to wrap this up, I think the winner is actually pretty clear and I got to give it to the Rift. Um, now this is kind of set up kind of like my bomber. It's a very mild on the startup. It's got the power, but it's not as brutally strong as what the Rift is. The Rift is just a monster beast compared to this and the bomber. Um, way more so than I thought. I really thought this had more to offer against this. Um, heck, Rift actually made it past uh, um, the nasty out there. So that was impressive. I I'm guessing I didn't drive it well when I put it up against the bomber, but that kind of happens out there. Sometimes there'll be a climb and you'll drive up it over and over and over again. Come back the very next day, exact same conditions, and you can forget it. I have no idea what changes, but sometimes things just change. Um, but uh, give it a good run. Give it a good run. On that one hill, you know, I'm trying, I'm trying. I finally get it up there. Then I take this and just... Uh, wow. I mean, and then the jumping. You know, this right here, I believe, is good for about 20 miles per hour. But this one is good for like 35. So... <laughs> It just gets out there quite a bit further. The larger tires, I think, is a real benefit. The soft tires. Now, these have the soft foams as well, but they're a little bit stiffer, lower profile for the 2.2s. These just have a lot more give, so the tires are absorbing so much more of the landings. You know, it's kind of, it's like a second suspension. The front on this does not have very much compression, so it relies on the tires to get that last little bit, so. Anyways, uh, I got to give it to the Rift. You guys comment down below if you think the uh, Capper Bouncer got it. I think the Capper Bouncer is what I thought was wild. It seems to be a bit mild. But anyway, guys, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on this. There are links down there, and they are affiliate links. And guys, I've noticed in, uh, quite a few of you guys are using the affiliate links, and thank you very much. It helps me stay on top of the game. Um, if you're in this hobby, you know it's not cheap. So it really helps me to be able to get the product in to show you guys and test it, you know, to figure it out and test it on different things like those tires. You know, um, I still have three or four vehicles to uh, test them on, but I got to change those hubs out to metal because like the Rift here, it has the little biters and all that on it that can actually help hold the hex in. Um, I put them on something else. Uh, they may not have that, you know, so I don't, I don't want to tear the hexes out. I want to go out and get you guys a good full video. If we get some rain, well, guess what? You'll actually see them in the mud. 
because I've got a mud truck. Anyway, um, yeah, well, go ahead. Back to the description. Uh, yeah, use those links, AMA and eBay, Amazon, and Horizon. Um, guys, thank you all so much, and uh, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that like button. See you later. Guys, if you like what you see, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell. So, in the description, there's a link to become a channel member. If you want to become a channel member, it's a very simple $2, $5, $10, or if you really got some money, $25 a month. It's a simple way to support the channel. So, get that, and I am doing monthly giveaways for members only, so you might want to consider it. So, guys, use those links. Make sure you're subscribed. Thank you all for watching.